Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type of relationship that we would talk about, the population interaction that we will discuss is predation. So predation is about one species feeding on another species for their survival. So let us take a common example. Let's say you think of the deer. So the deer feeds on plants because the deer needs to survive for that it needs food and the food is in the form of plants. So in this case who is being benefited? So the deer is benefited but do you think that the plant was benefited? No, because the plant is being eaten up by the deer. Similarly, the deer in turn is eaten up by another organism like the lion. So when the lion or the tiger eats the deer, who is benefited? The tiger. But do you think in this process the deer is benefited? No. So basically in predation, one organism will eat the other organism. So one organism will be benefited but the other organism would be harmed. And this series of living organisms where one organism feeds on another organism is termed as food chain. Like on the screen you can see an example of food chain where you see plants are being eaten up by deer which in turn is eaten up by a tiger. So this is an example of a food chain. So the organism which feed on the other organism is called predator. For example in this case this is termed as the predator and the organism on which it feeds upon is termed as the prey. So predator and prey relationship. So the predator benefits and the prey is harmed. Now what is the importance of predation? How does it help? So first is that it helps to transfer energy across trophic levels because when you think of a food chain, for example plants, they can prepare their own food by photosynthesis. So whatever energy is released uh, during the process of photosynthesis is stored within the plants. But when these plants are eaten up by or herbivores like goat, the energy gets transferred to the goats. When these goats are eaten by animals like tigers, again the energy gets transferred from the goats to the tiger. So because of predation, because one organism is feeding on another, that's why energy is getting transferred to different trophic levels. So each of these is a trophic level in a food chain. So plant represents one trophic level, goats represent one trophic level, the tiger represents another trophic level and so on. Similarly, when these organisms die, they are eaten up by the decomposers like bacteria and fungi. So basically, you see, due to uh, eating of one organism by another, the energy gets transferred across trophic levels. So that is one advantage. The second advantage is that it controls the prey population. Now, since the tiger feeds on the herbivores, so the herbivores population remain within control. Otherwise, the number of herbivores would increase to a very large extent. So that means it helps to control the population of prey species. However, if there is over exploitation by the predators that can cause extinction because if the predators start eating too many prey species if for example if the tiger starts eating up too many deer in what will happen the result would be that the entire species for deer might become extinct and if the entire species of deer becomes extinct what would happen the predators will not get any more food therefore the predator will also gradually become extinct because without food organisms cannot survive so over exploitation can cause extinction and this is true for any predator and any prey relationship now in order to protect themselves from the predators the prey species also uh, adopt many defense mechanisms for example some animals hide behind bushes so that the predators cannot locate them as you can see here now these defense mechanisms help the prey species from becoming extinct so that predators cannot over exploit them. So one option is they hide behind bushes. This other option is a lot of organisms they change their color so that their color match with the background color. For example frogs, insects they change their color and that process is that phenomenon is called camouflage. So camouflage is a phenomenon where an organism change its body color so that it matches with the background. For example, if uh, say uh, an insect is present in the forest, so the background is green in color. So the insect also changes its body color to green so that it becomes difficult to 
uh, to locate that particular insect and that's how it can protect itself from the predators. So these are some of the mechanisms which are uh, adopted by the prey species so that they can protect themselves from the predators. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.